summer's hottest entertainment is finally here. Blockbuster action for the entire family. It's a massive competition and I think the platform it's given the women's game is just phenomenal. If you're a long-time cricket fan or if you're completely new to the game, a huge welcome to the Oval and part of cricket history. Down the deck, up, up and gone! Oh, Matty Villiers, what a shot that is! of the 100. For the first time ever, a women's match headlined a global tournament at the start of this year's 100. It was a breakthrough moment and a huge statement in an attempt to inspire the next generation of girls cricketers. So has it worked and who is driving women's cricket into the spotlight? I'm here at the home of cricket, Hutton Cricket Club in Essex, to find out. Kath, you're a highly successful coach. You've coached all around the world. How much fun does it give you to come to Hutton and coach the girls here? I think this is actually the best part of it. We all start at some level and seeing these girls progress and go up the levels and get a little bit better. I think that's any coaching, to be honest with you, but particularly the young girls and seeing girls have cricket playing cricket at their cricket club. I was growing up, I was the only girl. I think that's probably a story for a lot of girls. But here at Hutton Cricket Club in particular, we've got so many women and girls playing cricket. I think when we started nine years ago, we had one age group of, of competition, um, which was under 16. And although we were, I think our age groups was between eight and 13, we actually entered that competition. These days, we have um, our own age groups. So people get to play or girls get to play a lot more. I think also the kind of player that we attract at our club um, has changed. Um, initially, we we would have um, girls who were just really good sportswomen and they had some kind of connection to cricket and just came along um, and played cricket as another sport and that, that kind of gave us a problem because we were always competing with their other sports for their time. Um, these days girls see cricket on TV and they just they want to they select a club because they want to play cricket and they want to play cricket all the time and they're available and that's that's a big difference for us. Gary, you're director of sport here at Shenfield High School. When did you first come across Maddie and what was she like? I came across her as a, as a young year seven, very talented footballer. Her year group had a couple of other talented footballers, um, and we coach the guys coach a lot of the uh, football, the futsal, and they went on to be national futsal champions. Um, obviously, Obviously, we try to get the, the girls into other sports like basketball and cricket, and, and Maddie took up every opportunity that, that we kind of threw at her. She had an absolute natural ability, brilliant hand-out coordination. I encouraged her to go for an Essex trial. Um, she was a bit unsure because she was playing at Colchester United Football at the time. Um, they won a county title and seeing the success and her mum being so supportive, um, they, she went along to a trial and Essex were desperate for her to, to, to play and she, uh, so she signed up and eventually, I think around the age of year nine, she had to choose between the two. Yeah, I picked up a bat and my PE teacher was like, Maddie, you need to, you need to trial for Essex and without that I probably would never have played cricket. I played football, loved football. Um, and yeah, without my secondary school, I probably wouldn't be playing, to be honest. So I first came across to 2017, 16, late 16, 2017, assistant coach uh, role I took on. Uh, and she was very much part of the squad then. Uh, a really good fielder, really good fielder. It was clearly something potential-wise, bat and ball. So how important is it, some of these girls go to Shenfield High School, Maddie's old school, how important is it for them to have a role model like Maddie Villiers? It's absolutely massive. I mean, Maddie is a teammate of mine, and even for me, uh, seeing her play in the 100, that first game at the Oval was absolutely incredible, and she helped hit that big six to go and help win the game. Those girls would have seen her at school. She actually came to visit Shenfield School a few weeks ago. Um, and to see her do that, you just have a role model. I didn't really have any cricketing role models just because it wasn't as big of a platform as it is today. There wasn't, it wasn't really televised. There wasn't as many games that we knew about. So Serena Williams was a massive one for me. Um, she was just so passionate and the way she played her tennis was, was quite savage and I quite liked that. How important is it to have someone like Kath here? You know, oh. female, experienced, international quality player yeah, for the girls to look up to. Massive, it really is. I mean, I, I thought about this just recently and I'm thinking, gosh, we've got a level three coach at our club. You know, we're not, when the youngsters come on a Friday night, 
it's not a babysitting activity that you know Kath and her team because she encourages our older girls our parent volunteers you know they all work under her stewardship and they're there to make a difference you know as a coach to have a female coach talking to you how important do you feel that is I think the female game in particular is so different and just it's that can't you if you don't see it you can't be it and I know that's a, a cheesy tagline, but actually it's so true. You see a female coach, it just makes you feel more at ease. I think it is, it is really, really important. Don't get me wrong, the guys are good and they're supportive of the women and girls, but we try always to have a female presence just so that girls know that it's possible. It, you know, it's possible to be a level three coach and a female. It's possible to um, officiate at a game and be a female. What have you made of the 100 as a tournament, and in particular for the women's game? I wasn't initially in with the idea, if I'm honest. I've sort of been won over in terms of, I think it, it looks a really good product. I think it's done obviously lots for exposure for women's and girls game, which if that's the sole purpose of it, then it's brilliant. I went to the Oval on, on Monday, largely because Maddie was playing, not because uh, Jason Roy was there. <laughs> and the atmosphere was just fantastic. It really was. And you know, there were loads of young families there. So they're the future generation. You know, loads of people wearing uh, Maddie's name on her shirt. I'm like, just buzzing to see that. I've loved it. It's been a great competition. Coming into it, there was a few people that, that didn't think it was going to work. And I think that the work that's gone into it behind closed doors, the, the management, the, the organisers have done a brilliant job. And I've really enjoyed it. And having the women's game as a standalone opener, and it was a ridiculous crowd at the Oval. I thought it was absolutely superb and the atmosphere was amazing, really good. Going forward, there's been a lot of progress so far, but going forward, what more would you like to see? What more needs to change for women's cricket? I think on the direction we're going in, the 100 has been this explosive tournament for the women's game. It's just lit up, it really has. Um, you're seeing loads of young girls wearing the shirts now. And I think the more we do that, the bigger it will get. I think year two is going to be even bigger. Do you get cross when you see comments about, you know, the, the ability, uh, the negative comments made when they do appear on telly and, you know, this is club cricket, this is schoolboy cricket. Does that make you cross? Yes, I, I hear less of it, but on social media, you see those kind of things. You know, there is, a, for some, a lack of respect, but, you know, unfortunately in this world, you have some people who are ignorant. Um, you know, girls are getting better and better. It's such a skillful game, it's such a tactical game. Um, you know, they may not have hit as many sixes as the boys, but physiologically they are, they are different. But, you know, I think, um, you know, there's so much to be watched and learned and entertained by watching women's cricket. There's always going to be people who don't like what's happening. And as long as we keep moving in the right direction, we keep progressing forward, that it doesn't really matter what they think because the women's game is highly entertaining. We've seen it with the crowds. The crowds that are coming into these games, they wouldn't be there if it wasn't good enough to be on television or to have those crowds. So it's, it's frustrating, but we know it's there. And, you know, when something's good, eventually it will just keep rising. I think there's a few people that still have certain stereotypes, but naturally that's just in life anyway. So um, I think we're just proving that women can can play cricket, there is a platform for it and people are willing to watch it if you put it out there and I think the 100 has, has done a great job for that. Kat's been good chatting to you, time for Nets, five o'clock, let's go and work <laughs> with them. Did you go to the uh, first 100 game? Yeah. What did you think about it? It was very good. What was good about it? Well, the sides were good and it was an intense finish. Was it? All right. Who's your favourite women's cricketer at the moment? Uh, probably Sophie Eccleston. Right. Because I like the way she bowls. You've been to a couple, yeah, have yeah. you? Okay. Oh, yeah, just recently. Right, which game was that? Oval Invincibles and Welsh Fire. All right, what did you make of it all? It was really good and I thought what was cool was seeing people that I've played against. Right, like? County level. Alice Capsey. Right, you played against Alice, have you? Yeah, and it's just to see them like on the TV and stuff like that is cool. Okay, uh, excellent work everybody. Uh, not easy with a little bit of pressure, uh, but always, always good to just get out and do some skills. So in the nets, just have a think about if I did say anything to you, just think about that skill you were doing. Make sure we refine that. Fielding tonight, that's the best I've seen it. That was really, really excellent. So well done today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give yourselves a cut. That was Women's cricket has moved forward greatly over the last couple of years, but much work still needs to be done. 
places like Shenfield High School and Hutton Cricket Club and all those up and down the country need all the support they can get to make sure that women's cricket keeps moving forward.